My husband and I, we actually met on a mission trip to South Africa. She fell in love with me, and as I think a lot of guys can relate, I was pretty oblivious. But it took a couple of months, um, and then I, I came to my senses and realized that uh, God was, in fact, uh, drawing me to her. And by the time we met and got married, it was two years. With Jason working as a youth pastor for about 10 years, Jason was, you know, making pennies. A lot of church leadership, you know, they'll, they'll view as kind of a second-rate pastor, a junior pastor, and so your pay kind of reflects that. So when we first got married, um, I had just graduated with my master's degree in social work. I wasn't raking in the dough, wasn't making a ton of money. God had called Laura to be a stay-at-home mom, and we were both kind of freaking out a little bit, like, okay, God, like, you know, the dollars, it just doesn't make sense, like, it's not going to work. And so we went down to just his one income. But with being in ministry, uh, you know, there, there's definitely lots of challenges. Um, just being in a nonprofit environment, um, and just not making, you know, what really in a lot of ways you need to survive. Um, so that's definitely been kind of tough. And so that was um, definitely kind of scary to think about. You know, we had a mortgage at that point. Um, we bit off a little bit more than we could chew with our house. And then um, kind of realized we had to scale back on a lot of stuff. For us, I think it's been really important that kind of a non-negotiable has been to tithe, you know, to give. For us, it's just been 10%. Um, and we really want to try to always increase giving. So that has been like, no matter what we make, that was going to be the case. God's always been faithful to provide, you know, regardless of the season of life we're in. Uh, we got get, having more and more kids, and we got three kids now. And, and this goes beyond just the finances that we have. This is the home that we're living in, whether, we're, whether we own it or we're renting it. Um, it's a gift from God. Uh, the car we drive, it's a gift from God. The church is the agent that God is choosing to bring redemption and restoration in this world. And what better place to invest your time, your energy, and specifically your money uh, in investing in the local church is really the greatest blessing um, you know, that, that we could have in regards to where we invest our money. So one morning, um, I just put the kids down for a nap and um, standing at the, the kitchen sink, God spoke to me really clearly, not audibly, but you know, almost. Um, and he said, Laura, um, in six months, I'm moving you on from here. And I was like, um, what? Because <laughs> I was pretty sure we were gonna die in Michigan. And six months to the day, Jason got a job offer with Dare to Share. So um, definitely don't think that was a coincidence and really blew us away where God's just like, step out in faith and do this. And, you know, in the process of looking for a house, we actually just um, just did a quick calculation. Our house in Michigan was literally four times less than the home here in Denver. So, I mean, you know, talk about stepping out in faith uh, and trusting God because we're still a nonprofit world. So financially, um, in the scheme of things, it hasn't really changed for us a whole lot. I think about our adoption. We're adopting a little boy from Haiti. And, um, you know, it really sounded crazy and it still does. When we told people that we were adopting, and of course the next question is, well, how much does that cost? And it costs tens of thousands of dollars. And it doesn't make sense because we don't have that kind of money in the bank. We never have. Every bill that we've had for every adoption, um, every adoption fee, He's come through, whether it's $20 or $500 or thousands. So we're just really thankful for that. Financially, it's not what we thought it was going to be, but we are 100% certain that we're right where God wants us to be. So, you know, we don't need to freak out. We don't need to fear. Like, He's provided for us a million times before. We know He's going to prove to be faithful again, and He really has every single time. God provides, uh, you know, all along the way, God has provided. So it's definitely been a really awesome journey.